Let's translate Romans 5.1. Romans 5.1. Dikiothentes un epistheos irinin echomen proston theon dia tu kiriu imon Jesu Christu. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through the Lord of us, Jesus Christ. So, therefore, being justified by faith, we the ones being justified by faith, we have peace with God. How? Through, by, uh, our Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is our Lord. Okay, so what are we working with here? Dikeothentes is aorist passive participle. Normally, we would probably see this in like a substantive, but there's no article and it's not a nominative absolute. So instead, it's not substantival. It's not attendant circumstance. It's not nominative absolute. We're either left with adverbial of means or adverbial cause. Means would be how. How answers. The means answers how we have peace or its cause. Why do we have peace? In this case, I think it's causal. However, we're not going to translate it because therefore, because we have been declared righteous by faith, there's just too much going on there to, to translate. It's just simpler to translate it being justified by faith. But you can understand the link. There's a causal link. We have peace with God. Why do we have peace with God? It's because we've been justified by faith. It is passive. So the justification is done upon us. It's to be declared righteous. That is not guilty. This is by faith or through faith. That means ek pisteos. This is either source or means. I'm going to translate it by means. So we have peace. What is peace? Well, in Hebrew, it's shalom. Shalom is the concept of the way things are supposed to be. The way things are supposed to be is to be in right standing with God. This is what Adam and Eve enjoyed in Eden before they sinned. And this is the sort of thing that only the Messiah can bring about after the events of Eden. And guess what? That's what Jesus Christ, our Lord, has done. He's brought things back into the way they're supposed to be so that we have peace with God. Note that dia tu kiryu is genitive, and I would say it's a genitive of agency through Jesus Christ, our Lord, is the agent who brings about this peace, who enables us to have peace with God. The last note is proston theon. Pros meaning association. If you look it up in BDAG, BDAG says with genitive, well, this isn't genitive, this is accusative. So let's go to two. With dative, no, that's not it. Let's go to three. With accusative, marker of movement or orientation towards some, someone or something. Marker of movement or orientation toward someone. In this case, it's orientation. A of place, person, or thing. B of time, near, at, or during. 
C, of goal, aiming at or striving toward. D, of relationship, hostile or friendly. Ding, 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 ding. So it either means against or for. Friendly, to, toward, with, or before. And here we have Romans 5, 1. Peace with God. So many translations will say, therefore, since we have been declared righteous by faith. But this is a aorist passive participle. Aorist does not bear the sense of have, but you can see there is a causal link. This is our subject. It's in the nominative. And so it's calling out that the audience, the readers, and this includes the author, Paul, they've been declared righteous not guilty by faith and because of that declaration we have peace with god things are the way they were supposed to be how was this done through our lord jesus christ if you liked this video go ahead and hit that like button and let me know in the comments how do you translate that initial nominative participle? We'll see you next time.